Now, many years ago, I was down at the Brisbane Exhibition, sitting there watching the working dog trials, and uh, I was just so impressed. I think I was about 14 years old, and there was a guy there with these beautiful, big, white-headed dogs called coolies. I'd never seen them working before. Anyway, just the, the presence, the power, the eye, the push that these dogs had was just something that really impressed me, and I always wanted to have that style of dog in my own working team. Here we've got Little Dash. Dash is our main breeding bitch at the moment. And uh, her mother, Lucy, was one-eighth what was known as Australian Cooley. Some people call them German Cooley, but it's really an Australian breed. And uh, yeah, she was a eighth, making this girl a sixteenth because she was bred back uh, from collie lines. And now we've got these on the ground. You had to just go and do it, didn't you? So she's got seven more beautiful little pups. They would be one thirty second coolie. But what we're noticing now in our dogs, we're managing to keep a fair bit more white in the front end of the dogs. They're a lot taller, a stronger, really well moving dog. They can work anything because predominantly our dogs are used for working, whether it be working cattle, some people are using them on sheep, other people are chasing pigs, and we do all of that with our dogs ourselves. Funny one, funny one. This is skunk tracking a wounded deer. I just give him directions to this way. I just step two steps to the right. Hunt him up. Yeah, I think he's got something. He looks really happy. Yeah, good boy, good boy, he's got him, got her. A good shot from Tony there on his hind, just on dark. Hunt him up. Skunk has gone up through the baby grass. He's leading us in now. Who's it? Hunt him up, hunt him up. Uh, good boy, <laughs> good boy, <coughs> yeah. He said, border collies are hunting dogs, mate. Look at that, Tony's first deer. Well done, well done, skunk. Well done, the skunk. Good shot, Tony, and uh, a great find there from skunk. Beautiful red horn. It's a bug pug. Put a hole in that bug pug, please. I see how a sucker's under the tree. There's skunk coming down the hill. A oh, bit of nice coy there, bro. Not too shabby, eh? Hey. Oh, it's just there. Good boy, Chancy. Good Chancy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Chancy.
Good skills. Beautiful rainy day. Yeah. Awesome day. Come up to the left hand side. I'll say off. Don't shoot me say off. Off! Shoot, shoot him. Off! <laughs> Good boy, Waylon. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good little boy. Good boy, Waylon. It's a nice boar taken this afternoon with one dog heading bailed. Good boy. Good boy, Waylon. Good boy. Hey? I don't think it's Sunday night roast. No, nah, it's not Sunday night roast. If Joe Watchman was here, he'd chuck that over his back and he'd say, hey, beautiful guy, bro. It was a great little run and bale there. Uh, we're heading along through here tonight and... Uh, we saw this boar go over the top of the hill about 300 metres away from us. We put Waylon out, straight up on the scent. One border collie by himself. And he just bailed this boar up, held him, so he'd get in and shoot him. It's the way to go. Yeah. Look at this galoot, eh? <laughs> You're a little ripper. Now, this is eight months old, Brandon. Oh, yeah. And he was, the, from the previous litter from Dash, <laughs> get out, you galoot. Now this dog, even though he was named after one of the biggest idiots in the world, is one of the best dogs I've ever bred. He's shown a little bit more white in the head, plenty of length, working ability. He chases everything now from pigs and deer to quail. He's out there with me every day and he's going to be an absolute weapon, aren't you? Eh? Brandon, let's go Brandon, yeah. Pretty smart, aren't you? Dashy. Hey, pretty smart. Good girl. Good girl. Dashy. Hey, where's those pups? Where's those pups?